G'day guys, Ollie here. Hey, we're just uh, down in Wanganui, New Zealand. We've just shot down from Auckland uh, a few hours, left at about four in the morning. And uh, yeah, we've got some stunning weather. We're going bush for one to two nights, depending. We've got food and, and gear for two days if we're gonna, if we do decide to stay out for two nights. So that's cool. Um, we're in a dock hunting block and there's a chance of pigs, goats, fallow deer and red deer. So um, should definitely see some animals out there looking to get some meat to bring home and uh, just explore some new terrain. We've never been here before. Beautiful country. We've just got to cross this river this morning and we're going to head up into the hills, uh, find a campsite for the night. Uh, once we set up camp, we'll, we'll get a nice afternoon hunting. But yeah, we're definitely going to go for a stalk this morning. The sun's just coming up and yeah, should be awesome. Really looking forward to it. side of the river here. Let's see if we can get some eyes on them. off they're nice and waterproof these boots but just in case it gets a bit too deep and wet there's no point having wet feet for the rest of the trip Let's get, get across there there's some goats just up on this Dead grass over here, they're looking straight at us. Is there one of the goats? Little Billy? <laughs> cool looking one here. Very cool. Beautiful scenery. Well, we've made it across the stream here. Goats are still here. They're a bit isolated on this bank. Oh, silly bastards. If I come back on the way home and they're still here, I'll 
take this black and white one, make a beautiful rug, and then taste good as well. <laughs> Funny. I reckon. <laughs> Dodgy. Just this bit here. Um, just, oh, I could probably get up there more. Yeah, it's more to skin the dog up there, eh? Nala, sit down. Much to grab onto, eh? Nothing in the chamber. I just kind of got my feet up, then it was alright. Yeah, you good? Need a bit of bushwhacking. Finally found a nice spot to cross the creek. Head on to the other side and then we're gonna go go right up the top and hopefully find some animals. Set up camp for the for the evening. hunting all up on the ridges and, and scoping out and decided to come back down near the water. I'm gonna pitch our tent down in this flat area here. Set up base for the night and then um, maybe have some lunch and whatnot and plan our afternoon hunt. There's some clearings up the way next to the river so that might be our best bet this time of year to get some animals. It's still really dry so all the sign I've seen has been down by the water, so get these tents up and uh, drop these packs. <laughs> Oh, 
Time for a quick coffee, caffeine hit. These are good. So easy to walk on. Might get that tomorrow. See how we go. Yeah, well, if you come in here, it'll wake up really fucking blown up then. Just, it's... See how you go at that one, bro. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, oh shit. shit. Had a nice uh, coffee, lunch break, and um, cruising on for the afternoon. We're going to find the creek again and work our way up to these clearings. See what's around. Just a couple of goats. If it was a big pig, I wouldn't shoot it, but we don't want to scare away any deer. There's plenty of goats around, so we'll let the goat go. Anyways, cool to see some animals. Well, we made it to the to the clearings finally. We're just in the smaller one here. This is the smaller of the two clearings. We're just gonna rest up, let the sun go down a bit, maybe have a nap and um, a bit of a snack and. Yeah, we'll see what um, see what this afternoon brings. Well, we've just been napping for a few hours. Had a nice snooze after our early start this morning been perched up under this tree and uh, sun's just slowly starting to make its way down cooling off a little bit see you wait another 30 minutes or so and then we're gonna make our way down this small clearing we're in at the moment and then um, make our way to the big clearing which looks like about the size of two two rugby football fields um, be good good bit of turf and hopefully um, something's come on there for the evening for a bit of a graze. Looking good. So yeah, we'll shoot off soon and hopefully we can see something. Plenty of sign around, there's been pigs everywhere but um, and a lot of scrapings on trees back through there so there are deer here, we're just not sure um, what type. Fellow red, who knows.
Well and truly stuffed that one up. Clean miss by the looks of it. Do not know how. Um, yeah, just lined it up right behind the, the shoulder there and squeezed off and uh, did it a bit of a jump. Thought it was all on. Um, took off into the bush, but just absolutely no sign of blood everywhere. We've just looked looked all around the place and um, just just no sign of anything. Pretty gutted. But that happens, it's just a yeah, crap shot. Um, then we just sighted the gun in, aimed at a, a tree over here, and um, gun's on, bullseye, so I can't blame the gun, unfortunately. Yeah, anyways, cool little clearing we found. Um, heaps of sign, heaps of shit, heaps of animals, goats, the one deer, um, so definitely a spot to come back but um yeah pretty gutted but it's life anyways guess it's freeze-dried meals for dinner i'm gonna chuck our head torches on and, and bomb back to camp <sighs> bugger <laughs> morning here in the forest and uh, we had a pretty pretty average sleep I won't lie pretty shitty sleep um, but yeah very quiet there's no possums or anything running around um, and again just lots of bird life so wondering if there's been a bit of a, a 1080 drop in here because there's not a lot of 
animal animal life to be honest um might have to look that up after but yeah just having a brew having a coffee I'm gonna shoot up the hill straight up this morning um, over to the backside and uh, search the, the other side of this block um, we won't even cover the, the whole thing it's quite quite huge but we'll um, make a dent cruise up some other streams try and find some sign try and find some animals um, we may head out <clears throat> this afternoon this evening uh, or may do another night depending on uh, animal life and whatnot so yeah coffee and we'll get into it hopefully kill something today blood in my new knife I just picked up this little beast um, from victory knives um, just an all-rounder beauty <sighs> that was a mistake I made last trip for uh, getting the steel so I, mean, I was butchering how many stags last raw, so good to have it in a nice little pouch of the steel. So let's try and blood this in today, fingers crossed. We heard some a bit of a waterfall down here yesterday. I think we're another stream or creek uh, join, so we've got to fill up water and then we're gonna bomb back up here and get to these other clearings which we uh, have scoped out on Google Maps. So let's go get some water. Pretty crucial. <laughs> So far on the trip, the only sign we've seen from animals is close to the water. It's so dry everywhere, so um, yeah, we're just going to make our way up. It should open up a bit further, uh, according to Google Maps satellites. So fingers crossed we find a nice clearing and a, and a few animals. It's just a beautiful spot, though. Don't fall over. I thought you could walk that punger all the way, you can't, eh? So chuck you another log. Donald was just explaining how there's colder, freshwater crayfish in the area, and I've just found one in this little pool here. So 
good indeed. Might try to find a, a better stream with some good rock pools later on tonight and try and get a feed for dinner. Sideways on. <laughs> Part of the fun. There's some beautiful, beautiful slips coming down all the way, all the way at this creek bed. So if we can find one with some sign down below, we'll just position ourselves up on the other side and maybe just spend some time glassing in the afternoon or even this morning. But no sign as yet. Well, we've done some some serious bushwhacking, stalking up and down ridges through guts streams up and down bluffs we've made it up onto this nice ridge here it's pretty cool we're just looking to get a nice vantage point up here further see if we can glass down towards these other clearings where we were yesterday so have a look some pretty neat fungi growing on this tree look at so it's a bit of a ridge pin up there see if we can get down up there and glass down good to be up on top for once though instead of these slippery slopes got out to that uh, cleared face and yeah, there was nothing on it uh, then it drops off into private land so unfortunately we couldn't really go any further but I had a good glass just shit loads of goats on the other property um, so yeah we've decided to head back down towards where we were yesterday evening where I missed the red deer um, down to that clearing so we're just heading down a ridge line here been bushwhacking for about 30-40 minutes now um, just booming down and then we'll, um, once we get down to the bottom, we'll uh, hunt the lowland lying forest there and um, as it nears dusk we'll have another crack on that clearing. Um, probably scared the deer away but um, 
and with our scent of the red deer uh, knowing not to hang around but we'll see um, if not the, we saw some goats down there from the top um, earlier so we can always uh, whack over a few a few goats for some nice beautiful goat curries so won't all be lost uh, I'm still a bit bummed about that deer yesterday but um, that's life things happen that's hunting so yeah onwards we go through this scrub get down to the bottom get some water we'll run out of water we're bloody thirsty We let the goats go and check this last clearing up here for deer, but um, no luck, no luck. So uh, pretty much well done this um, this block. So then we're just going to head back to camp, pack up the tents, and uh, get out of here. Um, call it a trip. Could have shot a few goats, but um, we've both got a bit of goat in the freezer, so um, I'm not too worried about bring any goat out um, so yeah anyways good trip lessons learnt learn to aim bring more food and more water <laughs> all good well um, get out of here before it's too dark shoot off to Macca's for dinner I think Thank you. 